What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm here with Tennessee Adam, and we're gonna go over a cool little technique that I like to do. So once we get to the turtle position, uh, if you're going with somebody that's not very good, one thing that I like to do is put my foot out. Now, what I don't do is put my foot too close because if you go against a good wrestler, they can end up taking you down. So I kind of leave my foot out here. Sometimes I'll even mess with the person and I'll keep stomping my foot. And a lot of times they'll look at it and be like, oh, foot. They reach out, they grab it, and what I'm gonna do is pull it in and keep it curled. If I lose it, I'm gonna have to switch to something else. So I keep my ankle flared out here and I'm gonna drop my hips right on top of his arm. We have a sneaky little arm bar from there. So again, if you're going against somebody, um, and you can just try it. You can hit it on higher belts too. Sometimes you just stick that foot out there and it's really tempting and he grabs it. As he grabs it, I'm gonna scoop it up with my heel. That way I don't lose it and I'm gonna pinch my knees. Now when we get to this position, I'm gonna drop my hips and now we have a nice little arm bar from that position. Um, if I'm not able to get him with the bait here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my knee to the inside. So after I get my knee to the inside here, this should open up enough where I can dig with my heel to get the same pressure. Now again, if I can keep it kind of arched here, it's gonna be easy for me to drop my hips. If I lose it, right, which means that slips, I just use this leg to pick it right back up. So now that I have this leg, I can use it for a roll. So I'm gonna go seat belt, go in with my feet, and now we'll roll, and we'll turn back this way. So, once we get to this position, to reclaim the crucifix, what I'm gonna do is start digging with my heel again. So I dig with my heel, and now I can get this arch. One technique that I like to try, again, just depends who you're going against, is I can almost hit him uh, with a shoulder lock here by extending my hips. Now, with somebody more advanced or a higher level, they're gonna raise their hips up. So as I try to go here, he raises his hips up to take the pressure, and now I take his back, and you can see that I have his arm trapped as well. So again, once we get into that crucifix position, so we get here, I could also pull him straight back. We're gonna end up like this, right, with the bottom leg hooking. So I want my top leg to go over and then come at the wrist. That way I have a lot of pressure here. Now I'm gonna keep control, I can grab the collar of the snow geese, just gable grip, S grip, but I start putting pressure here. I don't care if he tries to flip over top of me, I'm gonna keep my hands down. So if he tries to do a back roll, I just use my lock and push him right back in place. So now if I get him to raise his hips up, I take this knee behind. Um, you can also keep your feet crossed as long as they're up higher, or you can go hooks, just whatever you want from here. But now I have them trapped, and I go look to finish. One more time. Oops. So we get here, heel with the heel. If I can keep it with this leg, I'll hit the arm bar. If it slips, I'm either gonna jump over top of the person, or I'll grab, step, and trap. Once we're here, I'll hook escape out a little bit. Take my heel, and now I have the pressure. Right from this position, I can hit that shoulder lock. If he keeps his hips down and he doesn't extend, I can get a quick finish. If he raises his hips up, as soon as I feel it, I scoop myself under. Now I have his arm trapped, I have this one trapped as well, and I go look to finish. So I can start digging in, getting control, I can move to the collar, and start hitting some chokes here. Really, whatever you want to do from that position. As always, no liabilities. Thanks, Adam.